Kenya is known as the source of some of the best-selling rose flowers across the world. But do you know how flower firms arrive at what flower variety is the best for what market? Well, on this week's episode of The Next Frontier, Philip Keitani takes us through the process of rose breeding and selection. Welcome to NAP East Africa, one of 15 companies in Kenya that are involved in research, breeding, selection and marketing of new cut rose varieties. Here I meet Ethan Gadioro, a senior flower breeder at the farm, who takes me through the delicate process of breeding a new rose flower variety. Breeding itself is a process uh, which starts with the selection of the uh, parents that has got the superior uh, qualities. The aim of a breeding program is not only to create more English rose varieties, but also to identify good parents. These are roses which reliably pass on desirable characteristics to their offsprings. What we have here is the selected mothers. We know what they are, they have been coded, because we know exactly what they are. These are the mothers that have got a certain potential, certain superior characteristics. Next, the outer pellets of the selected parents are removed, exposing the reproductive organs. All roses have both male and female parts. And when you are preparing the mothers and the fathers, the flower must be mature enough. Many years of field trials are needed to highlight the seedlings which have outstanding garden performance year after year to match the beauty of their flowers. You remove the male part of the flower which has got the, the pollen. Like that, having removed that, you are sure that the female is not mature, so it has not been fertilized. Successful crosses will form ripe, pulp and orange or red hips. The hips are harvested and labeled. Each pressure seed is carefully removed. After a period of cold, the seeds are planted. The breeding and selection process of a rose takes a minimum of five years from pollination to the market. The seedlings are budded onto a high quality rootstock and will be assessed over the following season. The ones which show the most promise are multiplied by further budding each year. This means that each potential new variety can be assessed in large quantities. We multiply artificially from one plant to seven plants, which is the next level. If it is not good, it's discarded at that stage. The diversity of roses used in the English rose breeding pool help to create great varieties in their offsprings. A large collection of old roses, species roses and modern roses are used together with the best parents plants from the English roses. With Valentine's Day around the corner, if you will be lucky to get a bunch of roses like this one, you should appreciate them because the process of getting them to where it is, is quite demanding. Philip Keitan for the next frontier.